Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, along with Joan of Arc. Hi. And today we are in Arc. We are going to go on a little hunt for a Diplodocus, otherwise known as a Diplo. Oh, got a little bit of glitch there. Alright. Well, we got a Diplo over here. Oh, it's all red and green like Christmas. Uh, it's a level 75 male. Yeah, I'd like higher, please. There's a T-Rex and... Yeah. Think... We'll just go around the T-Rex for right now. Where you at? Um... Hiding. Okay, I went straight past the T-Rex. Where you at? With Pompeys. Pompeys are bothering Heathcliff. Over by the Diplo. Over by the Diplo. Is that why the Diplo is walking in that direction? Probably. Ah, I see. Okay. Alright, I'm here. Okay. Alright, let's. Where are we going? To find a different Diplo, I'd like a little bit of higher one, please. Okay. Alright, where are they all hiding? Sometimes I see them on the other side of our base. Yeah. Well, they spawn in all over the place. Just, oh, they do? Yeah, they're everywhere. We just gotta find one. Usually they're not on the beaches. They're usually oh. inland just a little ways. Okay. So that's what I'm running around looking for. Are you still behind me here? There you yes. Are. Okay, come here, Mr. Diplo. You wanting a male or female? Does it really matter? Um, no, it doesn't necessarily matter. I have a preference for females because they do give eggs. Okay. And I enjoy egg collection. Okay. But I would not be opposed to a male. Okay. Um, let's try this way. So, we have some pompies in the help so not that permanently. Okay. What level's this big? 85. Can you go left or right? Um, I went to your left. Oh, I see you. I think Cliff is low on stamina. Yeah, you're fine. There's one right there. Right there? Oh, there he is. That's a level 10. Oh no, but he's awful pretty. Yeah, here's another one that's a level 150 male. Ooh, hi, two boy. Gonna have to kill these uh, dillos before they eat them. For some reason, they eat those. Oh, bad dillo. You're hitting that... the diplo. Yeah, I saw that, so I oh. stopped. That Dillo's up underneath its feet to tempt me. Yeah, let me see if I can knock it out of there. But this thing would... Behave. Well, not that, yeah. Don't let it back over there. Why does it keep moving me? How did he I get back it. under there? 
We are like glitching all kinds of crazy here. Yeah, there are some dragon claws headed your way. Yeah, I can't get near the stupid Dillo because the How thing. Can I kill it? There's another one. That's what oh. I've been trying to tell you. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, when you were talking about dragonflies and stuff, I was trying to figure out what was hitting me. Alright, which one is which? This one's the level 10. I'm gonna have to eat the level 10 because he's not gonna... Step off? Yeah, you stay over there. Right here? Yeah. I'm trying to get this one's attention without hurting the other one. Yeah, it's not going to let me. No, they're all. Okay, back off of them. Okay. No, don't run no, that way. Run. Don't run this way. Just get a little distance away from them so that they'll quit trying to cross each other to get to you so I can kill this one. Up while we're at it as well. Yeah, no, I just need a little bit of separation in them. Come on, eating. Oh, you got him separated now? Yeah, because he's running away because he's hurt. Okay. Oh, that's sad. Alright, you can start feeding that one then. Okay, now to do a passive tame, I put it put in my zero slot. Uh-huh, and then you just walk up and feed it, and it's going to headbutt you. It's not going to hurt you unless it knocks you off a cliff or something, but it okay. will headbutt you. And I, well, I don't know what he still found, but he found something. Do no, I have to be behind you? No, just run up and when it says to feed him, just feed him. Now, if he nudges me, is it going to get his cliff upset? No. No, because it's a it's a friendly nudge. Okay. So. So I probably have a pretty good spot right here against this rock face. Yeah, it probably should be fine. But he'll bounce you a few times and all that stuff. Oh, it's just going and going. Is it taming up? Yeah, it's taming. But I almost can't get in there to feed him. Yeah. So he's still not hungry yet. Okay. But he's nudging me right into that rock face. Yeah, that's fine. It'll Which is, yeah, I mean, I'm not getting knocked down a cliff or anything. Yeah, well, it'll take a minute, but you should have enough kibble to get it tamed up. Okay. All I right. think he likes me. I bet you so. All right, guys, we're going to pause the video here, and we'll bring it back once we're closer to having this tame. All right, guys, we are back, and we are done taming. We got this guy. Awesome. Got a little bit of experience, unfortunately. Raptor or two come running up, and we had to take care of all that. But we got him killed, and we took it for a little test drive. And come on, game. There we go. A little glitch there, guys. But anyway, it has 18,042.3 in health. We put one level on its health. I believe it had 17,340 is what it originally had. Stamina, that's still the same. All the other stats are the same except for movement speed. We upped it a couple just to kind of see how fast this girl goes. Or this guy. It's a guy, right? Yeah. Yes. Greg. Okay. We got Sabrina here to follow us just in case we have any problems. So... Let's go ahead and hop on. And as you can see, Joan's sitting side saddle over here. 
in the passenger seat. Which, of course, she should be able to draw her bow and shoot. Okay. Why don't you try to see if you can hit that? Well, hold on. No. Don't hit the parasaur? Yeah. No, because the swamp's right there. And I think if we did, Sabrina might chase it off into the swamp. Why don't we find something that will actually come up and try to attack us? That okay. won't run and we'll have you shoot at it. Okay. Maybe a trike or possibly a stego. Let's see, she's still back there? Yeah, she keeps up with us pretty well, doesn't she? Yeah. Okay, let's go away from those Argentavis. There's a trike. All right, can you see it? Yes. Go ahead and shoot it. Nope, and she shot it. And it's not attacking. Mm -hmm. Okay, well for some reason, I don't know if this is supposed to happen or not, but um, I think you're shooting the Diplo. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a couple arrows stuck in its side. Well, that's something to watch out for working right up against you. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me, let me check here. Yeah, its health went up just a little bit. Or went down a little bit, so yeah, you hit it a couple of times, yeah, so. Right. You gotta be careful where you aim. The collision box is probably a little bit, a little bit funny here. But as you can see, it's like a big giant dog that's just kind of galloping along here. Let's go ahead and take it down to the water and see see kind of how it fares in the water. We won't go... We'll just cross the river over here and see what we got going. Since we got Sabrina following, I don't want her to get ate up by Piranha, but we'll see in the deep water here. And we are across, so it swims fairly quick. Not that bad, not that bad. Okay, why don't we go ahead and switch seats? You'll drive, and I will. I will board. Okay. And take me down to that trike and see if I can shoot it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and switch my arrows here because I don't plan on cranking anything. Pull me up on the side so that I can have a clean shot. Yeah, right there, Otto. Oh, nope, you're in the way again. And will it attack us this time? Oh, yep, it attacked this time. Okay, so the last time was a glitch. And I believe if you, well, I was going to tell you, if you left click, you could headbutt and knock it back a little ways. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Let's go to that trike over there and try it again. Um, yeah, we can go across the river. And we went across the river and I didn't even get wet. Alright, Sabrina out of the water yet? Uh, she's coming. I found a bit of swamp. Oh, you're fine. All right. Now, when a trike comes up, just left click and see if you can knock it back. Yeah, you knocked it back once. Oh, I did. Yeah. Now we're doing this stuck on me thing. This would probably be a lot more effective if we had a lot of people. Okay, you just keep doing that and see if I can kill the trike with just the arrows. Of course, I don't know what level this trike is, but... Oh, she got past. Okay, so you can defend yourself, at least from a trike, if you have riders on board that can shoot. 
Not bad. Not bad. I don't know. I've put a lot of arrows into it so far, though. Come on. You can die now. Okay, so now she's back. And now she's in front and I can't hit. Well, maybe I can. Okay, I straight up missed that one. Well, if this thing would just attack us. Oh, quit moving on me here. Would you back up a little bit? I can't. Sabrina, I'm in. Yeah, I know. You gotta get off of her so she'll eat the tripe. I had whistled at her to eat it because that was just taking too long. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's fine. I just, I didn't think she was going to get stuck on us. Right. Alright. Well, I think that pretty much does it. I mean, other than I can switch seats and the only thing I think is that if you get one of these and you just you really need a platform because you still take a little damage when you jump on and off so really to load and switch seats you need another platform because I cannot exit one seat and change to a different seat like if I wanted to switch sides I could not do so unless we were at a platform otherwise I fall hit the ground then I can switch sides so that's one thing to keep in mind if you ever have to switch sides to shoot something that you are going to hit the ground all right guys well i hope everybody has enjoyed today's video if you have be sure to like the video if you haven't already guys do me a favor hit that subscribe button awesome way to show your support for the video the series the channel to me to everybody and until next time survivors Keep on surviving.